Did you know that over 50% of the world's population have long hair? Yet still, did you know that people with locked and long hair are more likely to face discrimination when applying for jobs and in many social settings? My name is Nick Asgill, Asgillius Maximus, and seven years ago, I decided to keep my natural hair. What happens in the next seven years has taught me a lot about people's fears and perceptions of long hair. So today, I'm about to share with you five things that I have observed whilst having long hair and living in Africa for the last seven years. Hey, listen, before we go on, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and if you like this video, why not press like and share it to your friends. Now let's get into it. The topic of deadlocks have long since been very controversial. People with long and locked hair can be found in almost every civilization from the Babylonian times to the Egyptians, the ancient Greece, within the Hindu religion, of course, within the Bible, we're all familiar with Samson and the great strength he got from keeping his hair locked and untouched with a razor. We know that John the Baptist had interestingly locked hair and it is believed in many accounts that even Jesus had long hair. In the original context, long and locked hair were seen as a symbol of high status. People who had power had long hair, so judges, warriors, uh, spiritual people, people of affluence. How did such a natural thing become such a symbol of drama? And here are five things that I have learned whilst on my luck journey. Number one, a great misunderstanding. There is much dread about people with locks, hence the term dreadlocks. Having locks is usually associated with mad and unkept people because, well, let's face it, they're most easiest to spot in our neighborhoods. But it can also signify mysticism and extraordinary power. Some wear locks as a sign of spirituality and the consciousness of their roots, whilst others do so simply as a fashion statement. Number two, fear of the unknown. People with locked hair are often victims of discrimination. When you have dreadlocks, you have an additional level of prejudice added to whatever else was being held on account against you. So whether it be your gender, your race, your class, etc. It's almost as if most people forget that it's just hair and there's an actual human being underneath the hair. The media had planted many notions in my own mind about people with locks, even before I ever met one or ever had locks myself. People with long and locked hair tend to be more free to express their ideas and be creative. This is evident in the domination of the sports, fashion, entertainment, tech, activism and in some cases even in high positions of governance. I have met gasters with no locks and similarly I have found people with locks who was in no way ital. The African recognizes the symbol of the locks and the rasta. I have traveled much around the African continent and the Rasta is often embraced with love and warmth by the people. What do I mean? Every African country I visit welcomes me as a Rasta and they expect me to stand on the side of justice and do the right thing in any situation. There you have it. Five things that I've observed about having long and long hair. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit me up, subscribe, drop a comment, press a like, press a dislike. Whatever it is, interact with us, you know. More than anything, like, yeah, man, keep living, keep loving, keep doing new, innit? Till next time. Peace. So, Nick, what's next? Are you going to play us like that?